sorry it's been a while. Had a miserable three weeks of COVID, pneumonia, fevers, but finally out of the woods and uh, back at it. So uh, today what we thought we'd do is share some hints with you on actually riveting fiberglass or carbon fiber to metal strips and uh, how you put some backup washers on the back side of the rivets to help spread the load there. So if you take a look here, this are, these are the aft uh, covers actually for the Hummingbird. They're the tail rotor drive shaft covers. They, they, they cover it. And basically what we're doing here is riveting this metal to the fi carbon fiber cover here. Now what happens when you rivet, uh, uh, you know, rivet through a soft metal like fiberglass or carbon fiber is you're not going to get a real good strong mechanical connection there. In a, in a high vibration environment, especially in something like a helicopter, that's going to work and eventually come loose. So one of the tricks is to put something on the back side of the rivet against the fiberglass or softer material, and this will work for anything like baffling, you know, rubber, any kind of rubber material as well, is to use a backup washer. And typically, like in this case, we're using dash four rivets. We're going to use dash four washers. Now you might think that a dash four washer should fit over a dash four rivet, but guess what? They don't. The spec for a dash four rivet is actually a number 30 drill bit, while dash four washers are at one eighth in diameter. So it's gonna take a little bit of time here. And basically what you do, and I'll show you another tool that probably everybody should have in their toolbox. These are called vamp pliers. And you can find them on Amazon. They're not that expensive, but this is probably one of the most useful pair of pliers I think I've ever had. And my, my son, Nick, actually turned me on to these. They got teeth and cutouts going every which direction. And the thing I use them most for is when you have a stripped nut or screw or bolt rather, uh, typically a screw with his head stripped out. These things can just go on, grab that screw and twist it right out. So you don't have to use easy outs or anything. In this case, what I use them for is they do an excellent job of holding the dash four washer here while we take a number 30 drill and you'll see how easy this drills out. There we are, okay? And now, you can see that this washer will slide down over this rivet very easily. So that's what we want. We want a nice fit there, okay? And so where this is going to go, I left a hole here open to show you here, is right here on this side. We're gonna put the rivet through and, and the manufactured head of the rivet is against the metal and the shop head, what we're going to buck, is against here the carbon fiber. And if you can zoom in there, you can see that if we set a rivet there, we're not going to have real good mechanical bond there to this piece of metal. Matter of fact, as the rivet sets and expands, it'll really just expand and probably break the fiberglass. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this washer over top of that rivet and push it down. Now the trick is to get that washer to stay in place while we rivet it. And I'll show you in a video the tool I made here in a bit. But basically you take your bucking bar and you put a piece of rubber on it with a hole drilled. And when we push this against the rivet and the washer, that little bit of rubber there will keep that washer tight against the fiberglass. So then let me show you how we're gonna rivet that. We'll put in some air protection here. And we'll grab our rivet gun. And again, we're gonna use the rivet, uh, I'm sorry, the bucking bar with the piece of rubber, just duct tape to it. We'll put this washer back on. And again, the idea is to hold that washer tight against the fiberglass. If you try and set it without holding it tight, there's a good chance that washer is gonna pop up a little bit. And, and then it really doesn't serve its purpose as helping that mechanical bond. So all we want to do is push this against there and hit it a couple of times. And now the washer is held tight against there. We can turn the bucking bar around and then just continue to rivet it. We're going to hit it a couple more times. And there we are. It's done. You can see the washers are now all tight. Good mechanical bond there. So let me take this apart and show you basically what we made here on this bucking bar. And, you know, this works for, if you think about some of the other things you might have to rivet in an aircraft you're building, sometimes the baffling material is a rubber. Uh, actually, we've got a piece of it here, you'll see. Let me show you. So here's what 
silicone baffling material looks like. And if you just put a, a rivet through there without a backup washer, it'll eventually tear and come off. So it's actually the same material here that I used to make a hole, to hold that washer on tight. So basically just make yourself, you know, enough thickness here of rubber that as you put the bucking bar on the rivet and the washer, you have enough to actually push the washer against the fiberglass. And then just hit it a couple times like we demonstrated, turn it around and use the other side of the bucking bar. And the washers all come out real nice and tight. So there's your hint for this week. Take care.